What is up, YouTube? I'm your host, Dante, and welcome back to the Rant Room, where we talk about anime, manga, gaming, and controversial topics in nerd and geek culture. Make sure you are subscribed for more content like this Monday through Friday, sometimes on the weekends. Let's get this channel to a thousand subscribers. We are climbing slowly but surely. Thank you for your support and for tuning in. You guys are awesome. Let's jump right into the video. So, right now, Currently, as we speak, there is a movement on TikTok, and you'd expect it to be like on Twitter, but no. This time it's on TikTok, and the movement right now is to cancel Akira Toriyama. Yes, you heard that right. And not for something that happened yesterday or last year or three or four years ago. No, no, no. The stuff he's talking about happened over 30 years years ago <laughs> so, and uh I, 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 I kid you not i'm gonna show you right um guys right now <sighs> let me start from the beginning brace yourself these are the top four mangaka that need to be canceled huh. number four is ishibumi the maker of high school dxd number three is the maker of aroni kenshin who was actually convicted next we have miura the maker of berserk and finally the kingpin akira toriyama all of them are canceled for this these are the there's nothing he says will make me, <laughs> unless it's like some real diabolical things that happened recently. I'm talking about some real dirtbag crap. Okay. High school D&D. <laughs> now, I love that show and that manga. So, you're going to bring up some real dirt for me to have to cancel that, <laughs> that creator. And, of course, he wants to go and cancel the creator of Berserk. Bruh. <sighs> the creator of Berserk is long gone. He's dead and gone. He waited till after his passing to be like, yeah, we're going to go go cancel a dead man. Yeah, look at me being a, uh, an activist on TikTok. Brrr, look at me. <laughs> what, what the hell? <laughs> what? Wow. Wow, dude. <laughs> and this clip, he, and he's, he, he doubles, triples, and quadruples down. And in his video, I can't play it for copyright reasons. But he doubles down talking about an interview that was conducted with Akira Toriyama about Dragon Ball in the year of 1987, which Akira Toriyama said something on the lines of, um, it was a weird question, <laughs> okay, but it was clearly a joke, okay, um, something about what would you do, what would you see yourself as an old timer, and Akira Toriyama said, uh, I would see myself peeping into the bathroom of a, my, young, my young daughter, so it was a very stupid question, okay, <laughs> But, there was no context. This is the interview right here. And, as you guys can see, the interview, translated for us, is a very long <laughs> interview. Akira Toriyama is just joking around. He's not taking things seriously. You can tell. If you look up Akira Toriyama interview, 19, uh, Dragon Ball interview 1987, you will find this on Google. Okay, I found this on a different site. In Spanish, but is able to translate it for us, okay? But you find it. And if you read the questions, you can see he's not taking a lot of stuff that's going on seriously. He's joking around, being a fool, and all of that crap. You can tell he's just. If you read the the, the, the question and answer, you can tell he's semi and for the most part joking around. He's not taking anything seriously. And when that interviewer asked him a question about the, the daughter in the bathroom, he was, I guess. Pretending to be like Master Roshi. That's something Master Roshi would do in Dragon Ball. And of course, you all know that Akira Toriyama has one kid. I'm pretty sure he only has one kid. And it's a boy named Sasuke. <laughs> so clearly, a joke was there. Because <laughs> he has no daughter, my man. <laughs> and of course, he continues talking about Lady Red by Akira Toriyama. Let's check that manga out. If you check, uh, type in Lady Red on, in Google, you'll find it. It's not that hard to find, okay? So basically, the manga is about a young woman who quits her job to fight crime and fight evil because I guess, I guess evil is rampant in the city, okay? She wants to become a superhero, okay? So the problem is the more she fights crime, the more she fails. And whenever she fails to stop the burglars and the robbers and the gangsters, something <coughs> spicy <laughs> happens to her. It is a anime. It's typical. There is anime 
currently right now that is 30 40 50 times worse than the plot right here and i'm guaranteeing you if you ask a character i'm about this manga right now he'd be like bro what are you talking about i made this so long ago i don't even remember it <laughs> bust go go outside touch grass i don't know grab grab some shots grab go chill out some friends i don't know something <laughs> what are you talking about like there, if you go to anime, whatever you guys know this. I'm talking about right? that's spicy site, right? Um, you know that <laughs> there is anime um stuff like that, spicy content that's way worse than this plot. <laughs> to compared to that, this is tame. This is nothing. <laughs> okay, now I get it. It's raunchy. It's Japanese prawn. It's Japanese dark humor and stuff like that. And it was from years ago, my man. You are reaching, and the sad part, like, like I said before, is this. You can see him bragging about wanting to cancel Akira Toriyama and the creator of Berserk. He's still going, <laughs> quadrupling down. And this is as of four days ago. He is very uh, egotistical, annoying face. Like, oh my god, I'm still doing it, guys, oh my god. <laughs> and it's from four days ago, it only has over 700 likes. <laughs> only, I only like it because I can, you know, save it. <laughs> Okay, but um, yeah. What do you gotta think about this? This is so dumb. This is so unnecessary. This is so stupid. Like, bro, this is doing nothing. <laughs> People in the comments are like, bro, you really went and looked up something that happened over 30 years ago for to create some content. Like, bro, stop it. <laughs> stop it. Enough is enough. We don't care. <laughs> no one freaking cares. Okay, it's it's over. So if you guys start seeing cancel Akira Toriyama on Twitter, or Instagram, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, you guys know exactly where it came from. You heard you guys heard it here. <laughs> like I said, what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section. This guy has a million followers. All his cohorts are going to keep on sharing this nonsense. So be prepared. That's all I got for this episode. Make sure you are subscribed for more content, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.